Hello everyone and welcome back to another video update. Today I've just uh, finished work and I thought I'd do a little bit of an out and about, something a little bit different. So every day I travel on the trains backwards and forwards to work. I've come over to this uh, footbridge. So it was built in 1905 in a place called Gerrard's Cross. And I'll pop a picture up because I've just seen some notices just about halfway that they're actually going to demolish this bridge. My scene sort of going through the hills and stuff that I would focus some of it sort of based on the images that you can see now. So there's a nice little sort of road bridge over in the corner there. And then I'll see if I can get some pictures and see if I can model this footbridge that I'm stood on. Um, it's probably quite good to see if I can model something like that because if I take you over to the signs here you can see that it was built in 1905 and they're thinking of demolishing this bridge so you know it's a thing that I pass every single day on the way to work so I thought that I would just come down here see if I could get some images of it um, but it's quite difficult as you can see each bank is like that so it's going to be quite hard to get any pictures at all um, but i just thought i would see what i could do i'll have a little walk around some of the edges here and maybe see if i can go down to that footbridge there and uh, sorry that bridge over there and see if i can get some photos of it this way or equally if i'm passing on the train again one day i'll see if i can get another image of it that way um going to see if I can capture any trains. There goes one now, but I'm going to see if I can capture, capture any sort of diesel trains or anything over the next hour or two. And I'll, if I do, I'll pop them at the end of this video. Um, it's quite a nice little location. Um, thought it'd be something a little bit different to kind of show you some of the plans that I will start to do on the layout. I don't think that I'll use that kind of uh, station that you see in the distance, but it's just some ideas I want to get. What I thought I'd do whilst I was up here is actually just have a little look at sort of the track weathering and how they do their ballasting because on the second part of my layout I want to have kind of that two track modern image so it's quite nice to see sort of a little bit of the track and stuff from up here just how it would look in the distance when you see it on camera on the layout as you can see there there's like a siding that goes into the station and there's all like the oil drops and stuff so something like that for the diesel trains and stuff that's sitting in these sidings, that's quite a good image that I could use. So whilst I was standing up here, I had a little bit of an idea of walking down to the station in the distance there and then walk down to the end of the car park and then hopefully I should be able to see up to this bridge here. So I'm just gonna go for a bit of a walk and I will come back and show you some of the footage that I get from that end because um, it's quite an interesting sort of bit of metal work and stuff on the underside of the bridge so I'm hoping that maybe I can try and replicate that in some in some form 
Um, I do quite like some of this colouring and stuff on it. Um, as you can see, it's. I think this was a Great Western line. I'm not sure. I'll do a little bit of research on it, and what I'll do is add a couple of pictures to the video as well of um, some of the historical pictures. So yeah, I'm going to go now, and I'll speak to you in a minute. So I'm just walking up to towards where the bridge is now, and where I left off on the other part of the uh, video. So I'm now just heading along sort of a side of the track to the very end of the car park to see if I can get a close up of this bridge. So it looks like in the distance I can see sort of fence that I might be able to get some better pictures and stuff. Certainly getting in a few more steps today. I kind of walked all the way to the bridge at the very end, but you couldn't get either side of it, so I couldn't really get any pictures of what the uh, structure of the bridge looked like. But at least I can get a bit of a close up on this one. Because this is the one that I was thinking that I could kind of scratch build and make myself. I think it's quite nice that you can sort of get out and about and just do some modeling, you know, and especially if this is something that's gonna be demolished and it was built in 1905, it'd kind of be nice to keep some memories of it going. I mean, I don't know how the petition will go, if they do manage to keep it or not, but uh, yeah, it'd be a bit of a shame to see an old structure go like this. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit of research onto it like I said and I'll uh, add it at the end of this video uh, but for now I'm just gonna have a little look and see if I can get some close-up pictures So quite like by the way all these sort of ivy and stuff is all growing up the side of it especially if it's going to be a countryside scene it'd be quite good to replicate some of that with all these like bushes and trees and stuff so yeah i think it won't be too difficult to try and replicate i don't know how it'll be quite hard to do all those like pointed spikes at the top but i could definitely get this sort of structure done it's quite uniform maybe see if someone out there can 3D print it or something like that. I think it would look quite nice with, you know, the, the twin track and that going over, over the other side. And then as you can see here, it's like this railway's cut into the valley a little bit. So hills either side and then have this bridge, at least it looked like that there's something or somewhere to go. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here for a little bit longer and see if I can catch any trains going by.
kind of those moments where you're looking out the window on your way to work on the train, well I do anyway, and just look for a little bit of inspiration whilst I'm around the railway. And this is uh, definitely something that I'm gonna do. Like I say, if it's gonna be demolished and stuff, it'll be quite nice just to have that little memory. Because I have been working here for sort of nearly three years now, so I, uh, like I say, I passed it every day and was quite intrigued by it, and especially with like that bigger bridge in the background. It's just like a little sort of straight section of the track that I will think about using on the layout. So what I was thinking of doing is when I'm in that transition point of not having my layout because I'll have to dismantle it a few weeks before I move is that I might, if I get an opportunity in between work, just maybe come and visit a few different sort of uh, stations and stuff like that, see if I can catch a some train so have something a little bit different on the channel rather than just model trains. See if I can get some um, pictures of like the tracks and stuff like that, like nice and close up. Um, and then maybe see if there's any stations on this line that I could like kind of model or replicate. Just a little bit of a portfolio really of just some inspirational stuff that I can use. <laughs> 